This is a tale of two whiskeys, drastically different with water and without water. I'm befuddled, but intrigued. Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today's journey, we're going to head away from the Kleinleash Distillery, and we're going to head over and take a look at Glenallochy, specifically the Glenallochy 15 at the Glenallochy Distillery. Let's go ahead, nose it, pour it, taste it, and talk about it. Oh man, sherry already. I can already smell that. All right, Glenallochy. While I nose this, let's go ahead and give you the information about the whiskey. 15 year old single malt scotch, 46% ABV. This is all natural color and it is non chill filtered. This is a 700 milliliter bottle and it's coming in at $129 in Phoenix, Arizona. All right, right off the bat, I have a sweetness and it's a sherry sweetness, but it's not your typical sherry notes that I'm getting on the nose. I usually get the dark fruits, the raisins, the figs, the dates. The sweetness of that kind is not here. Strangely enough, the very first time I ever got strawberry in a whiskey is this one. A little bit of strawberry, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of blackberry, almost like a dark berry medley. Hint of a little bit of spice on the back end, and I can equate that to black pepper. I get some of that dusty maltiness in there. Let's go ahead and go for the first sip. All right, on the arrival, that's a little bit sharp, a little bit bitter. I do get a little bit of sweetness, but a lot of tannin, a lot of wood tannin on the side of my tongue there. Again, all of those dark berry notes are coming through. Let's get that second sip in and see if it changes anything. A little bit of chocolate came through that time. I still get those non-traditional sherry notes. Dark berries are there, touch of pepper, lots of barrel tannin. Not as rounded or as soft as I thought this would be. It's a little bit hotter on the tongue or in the mouth than the 46%. It's got some good flavors, but Overall, I don't think I'm digging this very much. Definitely a sharp contrast between the Craig Elicky and the Klein Leash that I just did. More of a traditional space side sweetness here. Let's go for that third sip before I add some water. All right, that finish is dark chocolate bitterness, barrel tannin, a little bit drying, and that berry note is still there, that dark berry note. But it's buried behind the bitterness and the chocolate and the barrel tannin. Very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and add some water to this, see if it changes the profile at all, and then we'll talk a little bit about the whiskey, the distillery, and the master distiller, Billy Walker. Seems to be a pretty interesting character. So let me get some water in this. I'm gonna add quite a bit. See if that does anything to the bitterness. All right, let's get this water coated in here. And I don't know if this is gonna show up on the camera, but just take a look at this color very dark copper gold. So the whiskey itself has that sherry finish and that comes from the Pedro Jimenez, the PX. I can't pronounce it correctly. It's like Pedro Jimenez. I can't do the R's or the THs, but the PX casks and the Oloroso casks. They're matured separately and then blended together and you have the final product here. As far as the distillery goes, this is a relatively new distillery. It was established in 1967 and Billy Walker actually acquired the distillery in 2017 with two other people, uh, Trish Savage and Graham Stevenson. Prior to the acquisition of the distillery, it was in production from 1967 to 1985, and then it was mothballed until 1989 when they started up production again. Billy Walker, the master distiller, is all over the whiskey world. Very accomplished master distiller, distillery owner, an accomplished businessman. I believe he owned and sold a couple of other distilleries. And again, his name is all over the whiskey world. In fact, I just recently picked up three Irish pot stills, Achthru, I can't remember how to pronounce it, but there's three of them, their first, second, and third release. And his name is plastered all over the boxes, either as master distiller or master blender. Give me one second. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Achthru, Achthru, uh, Anacona, this is the first edition single malt Irish whiskey. And his name, his name is on here as, oh, Master Blender, Billy Walker, Master Blender, right here as Master Blender, but not Master Distiller. So I don't know what his affiliation is with this Irish whiskey. Reviews on these are coming soon as well. And then back in February of 2021, Billy Walker was inducted into the Whiskey Magazine Hall of Fame. 
He's got something like 50 years of experience in the business. And one of his claim to fames is that he's a master barrel selector, barrel manager, cask manager, and blender, and distiller. He does it all. All right, getting to the final nose on this, the water calmed it down, and I did add quite a bit, more than I normally do. It eased it a bit. Some of those dark fruits are coming out, a hint of the raisin, but I still have the prominent dark berry notes. Let's get to the taste. Not as sharp, this rounded it out a little bit more. Not very often that I have whiskeys that are better with water, but this, for me, on this day, definitely is a lot better with the water that I added. It softened the barrel tannin, it rounded it out, I get more of a mouthfeel to it. The dark chocolate bitterness is now gone, and now it's mostly dark chocolate. The silkiness of it is there. And how about the finish? Let's go ahead and get a last sip before we get to the score. The finish is medium to long. All of the dark chocolate notes linger, the barrel tannin and the pepper, and the dark berries linger. This is a tale of two whiskeys, drastically different with water and without water. I'm befuddled, but intrigued. All right, let's get on to the scoring. My scoring system is out of five stars. Like I had mentioned, this is a tale of two whiskeys. Without water, I would give it a three star, three out of five stars. With water, I'm gonna give this three and three quarters. It's a more well-rounded whiskey, and I don't have much to complain about once water is added to it. So grab yourself a bottle of this, throw some water in it, see where it is that you like it. And if you guys are liking this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, give me a thumbs up or a like on this video if you like the information. If you know anything about Glenalkey 15, leave some comments down below. Are you seeing the same thing that I am with and without the water? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm wrapping up my Monday series. I have two age-stated single malts left. Glen Murray 18 and the Glen Farkless 25. So turn that bell notification on so when I do go live with a video, you'll be notified. And with all that being said, like always, enjoy your journey. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.